Relate unto them the stories. It's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that they may reflect. These stories are not to entertain us. These stories are for us to derive lessons and reflect and to contemplate. And verily, we have sent among every nation a messenger proclaiming, worship Allah alone and avoid all false deities. Then of them were some whom Allah guided and of them were some upon whom the straying was justified. So travel through the land and see what was the end of those who deny the truth. And that was our proof, which we gave Ibrahim against his people. We raise whom we will in degrees. Certainly, your Lord is all-wise, all-knowing. And we bestowed upon him Ishaq and Ya'qub. Each of them we guided. And before him, we guided Nuh. And among his progeny, Dawood, Sulaiman, Ayyub, Yusuf, Musa, and Harun. Thus do we reward the good doers, and Zakaria and Yahya, and Isa and Ilyas. Each one of them was of the righteous, and Ismail, and Elyasa, and Yunus, and Lut, and each one of them we preferred over the worlds. Allah sent to every nation a messenger. The essence of belief was that Allah is one uniquely one, and that He alone deserves our worship. Over 124,000 prophets were sent throughout the world, to Africa, to the Americas, to Asia, to Europe. The vast majority of them, we have no idea. Only 25 were mentioned in the Quran. But we believe in all of them, sent to all nations of the world.